In this one, we're talking about the best apps to use for OnlyFans marketing. Let's take a look. What's going on? This is Scotty. And if you don't know who I am, I've been working in social media since 2015. And in this series, we're talking about how I helped my girlfriend reach the top 1% on OnlyFans, starting with zero followers. And don't forget, if you want to see the number one secret, along with a step-by-step -step guide showing the exact process we use to get these results, just click the link in the description to join me on Telegram. All right, so let's get right into this video. On this one, we're talking about the best apps to use for OnlyFans marketing. Now, I'm gonna be rating these apps basically in two main categories and then the overall uh, you know, rating. So basically, with new exposure, this is essentially, when it comes to you know, OnlyFans marketing, the, obviously the main idea is that you want to get your content in front of as many new people, new eyeballs, as much as possible to obviously drive traffic back to your OnlyFans account and get subscribers. The next category is converting followers. So let's say, for example, if you've got you know, 10,000 followers on Instagram or 10,000 followers on Twitter, for example, which of those two apps is going to be better at converting those followers into paid subscribers on OnlyFans? And then I have the overall. So again, that's basically with all things considered, um, where exactly does that app rank in terms of being a good OnlyFans marketing app. And so the main apps I'm going to be covering in this video are right here. Now, obviously there are more apps than this, but these are kind of the main ones, the most popular ones that uh, OnlyFans creators use to build their OnlyFans subscribers. And so we've got Instagram, Reddit, TikTok, Telegram, YouTube, Twitter, Snapchat, Bumble, Clapper, and of course, Tinder. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the details here and figure out which of these apps is the best one to be using to grow your account. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this on the screen. So again, I have these different sort of categories. Obviously, the green means it's better and the dark, you know, reddish color down here is obviously, you know, not as good. Okay, now the first thing to keep in mind here is that I'm basically going to be ranking these apps on my own personal experience, you know, working with creators and doing marketing with creators. In addition to a lot of the other top 1% creators that I talk to, you know, what has their experience been with these particular apps? And so that's what I'm basing this on. However, of course, you know, different people might have different experiences with these apps. One person might do really well with TikTok and, you know, while somebody else won't get any results with TikTok and might get better results on, you know, Reddit or something like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with Reddit. Now, the idea with Reddit is that you know you're basically going to create pictures different you know types of content you're going to post that in these individual subreddits that are related to your niche and the idea is that the more upvotes that you get on that piece of content it's going to rise to the top of that particular subreddit more people are going to see it and obviously click on your profile and then ultimately you know click your links and end up on OnlyFans so while reddit can be pretty effective if you're able to get upvoted to the top of these subreddits the reality is it's not that easy easy and very, very few creators are actually able to do that consistently. And so for new exposure, I'm going to go ahead and put Reddit right about here. And I may change these around as I go through this process, but let's go ahead and start off with Reddit um, right down there. Now, in terms of converting followers, um, Reddit is also, you know, semi-decent, but um, but not great in terms of, of converting followers. And I've measured this through individual tracking links in terms of, you know, people that click the OnlyFans link from Reddit, how many of those people actually end up becoming a paid subscriber on OnlyFans. Um, so in terms of conversions, Reddit is, you know, not the best, but not the worst. So we'll put it right about there for now. And with the overall, we'll keep it right about uh, the same right here in the middle. Okay, next, let's talk about Snapchat. Now, to be honest, um, Snapchat, I probably have the least experience out of all the apps listed here, um, but I have worked with a handful of creators that use Snapchat, so I have a decent idea of you know their results and how it works. Okay, so with Snapchat, I'm going to go ahead and put it right about here. Um, so Snapchat has something called Spotlight, which is kind of like its own internal TikTok um, for, you know, different, basically scrolling through videos, kind of similar to TikTok in terms of content delivery. So you're able to get new people to see your content, you know, follow you and things like that. Now, the reason I'm putting it below Reddit is only because out of the large majority of top 1% creators that I talk to, Snapchat represents one of the smallest percentages in terms of creators that are able to become, you know, successful, you know, reach the top 1% 
1% as a result of Snapchat. Okay, so in terms of converting followers, again, I'm gonna keep that kind of around the same area uh, right here, and I will also have that be true for the overall as well. So again, keep in mind, I have the least uh, experience with Snapchat with Snapchat out of the apps listed here. So if your experience is different, then I would love to hear uh, your opinion down in the comments below. Okay, so next let's go ahead and talk about TikTok. So TikTok uh, is of course one of the most popular apps to use uh, for news, new exposure and for good reason. So I'm going to go ahead and put TikTok up here as far as new exposure is concerned. And the reason being is because TikTok is one of the only apps out there. I'm not going to say the only apps out there, but one of the few apps out there where you can basically create an account, start posting content and essentially go viral on day one if you're lucky. Now, obviously that's not going to happen for most people. It takes you know consistency uh, to eventually go viral, um, but it is possible to basically set up a TikTok account, start posting content, and start getting a ton of views very quickly to get a lot of new eyeballs, a lot of new people to see who you are and ultimately follow the links and subscribe to you on OnlyFans. So for new exposure, I'm gonna put uh, TikTok up here. Okay, for converting followers, I'm gonna put it um, a little bit lower. Um, while, while converting followers, is very, very effective on TikTok. There are other apps that are slightly better for converting followers. So I'm gonna put that right about there and we'll put the overall um, right about the same somewhere around here. So again, I might move these around as I go, but let's put it right there for now. All right, now just to add a little bit of contrast to this chart, let's talk about Telegram. So when it comes to Telegram, uh, Telegram is not great for new exposure. There's not a ton of, you know, internal delivery in terms of getting your content in front of new Telegram users. There are certain things that you can do, but for a beginner, it's probably not the best thing to use in terms of new exposure. However, if we're talking about converting followers, Telegram is one of the best apps to use for converting followers because with telegram you can basically build an audience and automate the content delivery so you can imagine telegram as your own personal little employee who's basically sending everybody dms you know telling them about your only fans telling them to subscribe offering discounts giving them content and all kinds of cool stuff it's basically constantly promoting your only fans account behind the scenes 100 percent automated and it takes no work at all so that's one of my favorite strategies and i actually have a lot more information about that uh, uh, if you click the link down in the description below. And so for overall, because it's not great for getting new exposure, but it is very good at converting followers, we can put it kind of somewhere in the middle uh, right here. It is one of my favorite apps to use for OnlyFans promotion. Okay, so next let's go ahead and talk about Instagram. So in this context, I'm referring to Instagram Reels specifically. I'm not talking about just, you know, normal Instagram. So Instagram Reels is obviously, you know, functional functions very, very similar to TikTok. And so in terms of new exposure, I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, Reels right up here with TikTok. You know, with my experience, it kind of trades off. Sometimes TikTok uh, gets a lot more views, a lot more exposure, and sometimes Reels actually beats TikTok and gets more views and exposure. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it right up there, you know, tied with TikTok. Reels is actually, you know, becoming more valuable over time. Um, and starting to sort of catch up with TikTok in terms of, you know, helping creators get new exposure. When it comes to converting followers, it's actually a little bit worse than TikTok in my experience. Again, I measure all of this stuff, you know, through different tracking links and, and stuff like that. So I'm able to kind of see which apps are converting the most. And when it comes to Reels, the traffic is slightly less targeted than TikTok for whatever reason. And so it doesn't convert quite as well as TikTok, but it's still pretty good. Okay, so overall, I'm gonna go ahead and put this right about here. Um, right between, you know, TikTok and Telegram right there. I'll move Telegram down just a hair. Um, so basically right about there with Instagram Reels. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about YouTube here. So YouTube, I'm gonna go ahead and put this right about here in terms of new exposure. Um, one of the best things about YouTube is, is that it is very search 
based traffic, which means, you know, similar to this video, there's going to be people that are searching for this content today. There's going to be people searching for this content next year. And so it kind of just gets gradual views over time, you know, in contrast to TikTok, where you might get a ton of views really quick, and then it sort of just dies out and you don't really get a whole lot of views after that. Um, so YouTube, I'm actually going to move a little bit higher because YouTube is a much better sort of long-term uh, app, long-term strategy. It's even better than, you know, TikTok and Reels, in my opinion, in the long term, not so much in the short term, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put that, uh, you know, right up here with these other apps, just because you don't get quite as much exposure, you know, as a new creator. But over time, again, it's it's a very good long term strategy. OK, now in terms of converting followers, I've noticed that YouTube does not quite get as good of results as the other apps, just because the intent behind the viewers is not necessarily specific to, you know, I want to subscribe to this person on OnlyFans. So I'm going to go ahead and put it down here a little bit. Overall, I'm going to put it right up here at the top, even above TikTok um, and some of the other apps, just because I'm a fan of, you know, playing the long game. And I think a lot of these other apps, you know, creators sort of get those dopamine hits from those big, you know, views in the beginning. But then, you know, those things start to work less and less and less over time. And then creators start, you know, start to get depressed because they're not getting as much views and so on. While YouTube is, is something that works well in the long run. And I think it should be used and, and made a priority uh, over, you know, a lot of the other sort of short term apps. OK, so let's go ahead and talk about Tinder. So Tinder, I'm going to go ahead and put um, right about here. Uh, for new exposure. Now, the, the, the thing with Tinder is that it can work pretty well in terms of new exposure, but it does take experience. You typically have to have many, many Tinder uh, uh, accounts, have them automated, auto swiping, you know, doing all these things. And Tinder is getting very good at battling those types of automation. So it's becoming more and more difficult to do that type of stuff on Tinder. In fact, for those reasons, I'm actually going to pull this down a bit more and put it even below Snapchat here, just because there are less and less creators and agencies that are successful with Tinder. It still works, but it does take a lot of, you know, sort of skill and experience, automation, you know, things like that to make it um, worthwhile. Okay, converting followers, I'm gonna go ahead and put that kind of up here. Um, if you can get it to, you know, work in terms of getting new exposure, then it can convert decently well. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put that right about there. And overall, I'm going to go ahead and put this down here just because I don't think it's a good long term thing to spend your time on. It's just going to become more and more difficult and the results are just going to get worse and worse over the coming months and years. So I'm actually going to go ahead and bring this down a little bit f further. I think this is probably one of the worst things to spend your time doing just because it's not going to pay off in the long run. OK, so let's go ahead and talk about Bumble. So that's obviously very similar to Tinder. However, Bumble still um, kind of works as of right now, um, but it is getting more difficult like uh, Tinder. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right there for new exposure. Converting followers, I'll put that kind of, you know, right about the same as these apps right here. And for the overall, I'll put that down here a little bit higher than Tinder because it is not quite as difficult as Tinder. Um, but it's certainly not going to get easier over time. It's just going to get worse. And so, again, I don't think it's really one of the best things to invest your time doing uh, something like that. OK, so let's go ahead and talk about Twitter. So for new exposure, I'm going to go ahead and put Twitter right about here because it is possible to get a new exposure on Twitter. If you're posting little video clips and good tweets that, you know, get shared and things like that, there are a fair amount of creators that are doing quite well with uh, Twitter. And so I'm going to put it right in the middle right here. Now, I am putting it a little bit lower than Bumble because, um, you know, despite all the problems with with Bumble as of right now, Bumble actually does work uh, pretty well. Um, but again, you have to have experience. You have to, you know, use multiple accounts, automate it, do all these different things. So it can be, you know, quite difficult. And if you're a beginner, I certainly would not recommend doing those types of things. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put Twitter right here just because, um, you know, Twitter is easier for a beginner. It's much more basic and it can uh, get, you know, some decent new exposure. Uh, converting followers, I'm going to kind of put this right down here with the rest. 
Now, one of the good and bad things with Twitter is that they are adult friendly. So um, the problem is there's a lot of adult creators who, who are putting all kinds of, you know, content on uh, Twitter. And so the problem is, you know, guys will go over to Twitter and they'll see everything that they want to see and they will no longer be curious and actually have the need to pay uh, to join some to join somebody on OnlyFans, so that actually damages uh, conversions from what I've seen. So my recommendation is, if you are using Twitter, you don't necessarily want to post, you know, full nude and and things like that on Twitter because one of the biggest converting factors is curiosity. You want to keep people curious because that's what's ultimately uh, going to influence them to you know purchase your OnlyFans and satisfy their curiosity. So I think the creators that are going full nude on Twitter are actually making a big mistake in terms of conversions but overall I will go ahead and put uh, Twitter sort of right here in the middle slightly above uh, snap snapchat um, actually I like Twitter even more than reddit a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and put it uh, right there a little bit above reddit okay the last one here is an app called clapper which is a little bit less uh, known but this is basically a sort of uh, TikTok alternative, a sort of clone of TikTok. It has much less users than TikTok, but there are some benefits because they don't mind if you link directly to OnlyFans. They're a little bit more friendly in regards to that. And I have seen some creators be quite successful on Clapper, getting tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of views on their Clapper videos. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put Clapper um, right here above most of the other apps in terms of new exposure and I will go ahead and put clapper right about here for conversions um, even when videos do get decent views I haven't seen them to really convert that well um, but they do convert um, decent you know it is going to get some subscribers um, but there are obviously other apps that convert much better so I'm going to go ahead and put uh, clapper right about there for conversions and overall i'm going to go ahead and put this right about here uh i actually would use telegram over clapper so i'm going to put telegram up a little bit and bring clapper right about uh there so let me go ahead and expand this a little bit and so this is basically the end result, uh, I would say. These apps up here are the best overall. I'll go ahead and include Twitter in that. Um, okay, so I would say that those are basically the best apps overall to use in terms of growing your OnlyFans account. If you're limited on time, uh, you know, you're working a job or whatever and you only have limited time, I would definitely choose uh, TikTok and uh, YouTube to put the majority of my efforts into. Um, but with that being said, uh, Instagram Reels kind of goes along with those. You know, a lot with especially when it comes to TikTok, you can't you can't link directly to OnlyFans, so you have to send your traffic through Instagram first. Um, so you kind of have to use Instagram if you are using TikTok. That would sort of be my recommendation if you're just starting out is to, you know, spend your time and effort on these apps right here. That will likely get you the best and fastest results on OnlyFans. So that's it for this one. Again, if you want to see the number one secret along with a step-by-step -step guide showing the exact process we use to get these results, just click the link in the description to join me on Telegram. And if you found this video to be helpful, be sure to like and subscribe and until next time take care